So first of all, before performing any troubleshooting steps, click on play and you will see launch in safe mode. So you can just try launch in safe mode, click on play and then you can check. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. Before that, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store, in that case, you can also perform the steps from this video. I've made a separate video on this, so you can Game Pass user can perform the steps from this video as well. Now, to perform a clean installation, if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, scroll down, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. Click on Find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver over here. And then click on View. Now you will see the download option. Click on Download. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Once you run this exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then you can click on next. Let the installation complete. Once this is complete, then restart your computer. Restart is a must. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, AMD users can go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, install the latest one, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Open the game folder. And then select the game exe file, click on add. Now once the game is added, scroll down and find the game in the list. Now once the game is added, click on the game, select over here high performance and you will see your graphic card, select your graphic card over here and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So for many users, this has worked. So make sure that your Windows 11 or Windows 10 is up to date. So you can go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Just make a double click over here. Try launching the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click once again, go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says, run this program as an administrator, hit apply, Click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working. Again, put a check over here and then select Windows 8 over here. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here. Hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still it's not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. This is important. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security in case of Windows 11. In Windows 10, go to update and security. Now click on Windows security, click on virus and threat protection, scroll down. At the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Again, go to the game installation folder 
and then open the game folder select the exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at, at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the game folder in this location so now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now scroll down open saved games folder and open this machine games folder and over here you will see the game folder so and this does not have a save game files it has the config file your config file so you can just go back and then you can make a right click and delete this the great circle folder now launch the game once again and then check next step is to set the windows power plan to power saver now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options now over here if you see power saver you can select power saver and then launch the game so if you see power saver you can put a check on power saver save it and then launch the game now if you don't see power saver in that case you can try balanced and you can even go for high performance so change it and then check now the next step is to view type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now click on the first settings over here now click on go to the advanced tab and then click on change over here put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then click on ok and then ok ok and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can go to view advanced system settings click on settings once again go to advanced change and the, this time you can uncheck this box and then you can select your drive wherever the game is installed and then you can put a check on system manage size and then click on set click on ok and then it will be asking you to restart your computer so restart your computer i'm not restarting so restart your computer and then check if that does not work restart now and then launch the game if that does not work you can increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 
into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so you have to download both x86 and x64 file and run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well again if you see repair Click on repair. If you see the install, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. So once here you can see x86 is complete. Once x64 is complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if your hotas, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience running, go to GeForce Experience settings and then turn off in-game overlay. So, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI after, if you have like MSI after burner running, uh, you can close it. Now, also if you have like sometimes we have river tuner connect uh, open so if you have river tuner running you can close it so you can just make a right click on if you see msi after burner over here make a right click close it if you see river tuner running close it so close all the background application over here so i have so many things running so close all the application over here and then you can launch the game also, if you are undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. This is important. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you're a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your brand manufacturer website, your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then install the BIOS, download the BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you install the BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can try window mode, lower down video settings. So if you're able to launch the game, you can launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to options and then go to video over here. First of all, uh, if like if you're using like borderless window mode, full screen, you can try window mode. And then now if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more and then apply video mode. Except now also scroll down. Now over here also, um, here you can see FPS is set to 1000 in my case. So I will just, you can try maybe uh, 120. So in my case, I will just set it to 60. So 
I will set it to 60. Now over here you can scroll down. And over here you can see graphics quality. So like if this is set to like high So if this is set to ultra or very ultra uh, or supreme, so if it is set to supreme, you can try very ultra, you can even try ultra or you can go for high or you can even set medium. I will set it to medium. Scroll down over here, you can see upscaling. Now if you are using DLSS, in that case, you can set this to quality and then check. But in my case, I will just set it to a native TA. And then you can apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, you can go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.